love honestly I love my fans I love the people that's playing behind me my team I love the whole uh, energy of it it's a full circle so then it makes it even better because I love singing I love singing it's what I do and I want to do it well and I want people to enjoy it I want them to have fun they pay good money or they spend a lot of time getting there so they want to see a show and I want to give it so it's it's the love of it. I love things to be natural. I love the first moment I open my mouth. I think the only time we're prepared is when it's a new song that I've never, like one of my songs and I've never performed it. That's the only time we're preparing. I'm, I'm, like, I Gotta Get To You, I've never sang that live uh, other than one time. So this was the first time I performed it uh, and again for the second time and overseas. So yeah, I think that's the only time. I'm, I'm just mentally excited. I get all my whole body is nervous, so I take that nervous energy as being excited. But no preparation, really, and that's not good. <laughs> and then it's not bad. So. Oh, oh. Ah, Ricola. Um, a little bit less talking. That doesn't work. <laughs> and... Uh, just ready to go. I'm always, I love being on time too. I love it. Let's start. I can't stand being late. That's the only thing. <laughs> That's Nate Mercero, so <laughs> and it's edgier and it's because uh, th Turn Me Loose, that song "Knocking," was from Turn Me Loose, and we go there. That's mm -hmm. the real energy for me. It's a blues and rock and R and B all mixed up together. Come in. Let me talk to you. I remember the first time. I came, it was just 30 to 50 people, and I gave the same show. I don't care if it's three people, I'm gonna give the same show. But the second time tonight, last night was just, I was so happy, I wanted to sing all night if you let me. <laughs> and they were like, time, time. And my little youngest fan up front, she was like probably 10 or 11, she knew all the words. I went, I looked down at her like, really? It's, it blew my mind. Everyone knew what I was talking about. They knew how it felt. They danced, they sang. I really, for everyone in Paris, thank you for the support over the years. And thanks for just you got all the music, not just one album. You have the whole history of my music, so I thank you for that. That's an honor. I'm glad you're listening. <laughs>